So this is a tutorial on how to do IXL Algebra 1 I3, which is basically simplifying expressions uh, that involve like terms and the distributive property. So the first problem is h plus 7 minus 2h plus 8h. So now what we have here is we have a bunch of things with h's. We have h negative 2h and 8h. Notice I take the sign in front of it. So all of these things are going to combine to give me one thing. So I'm going to only focus on the coefficient in front, which is the number in front. This guy doesn't have one, so I'm going to put a 1 there. So 1 minus 2 plus 8. So I'm going to do 1 plus 8. That's 9 minus 2 is 7. So I have 7h. Now this guy doesn't have anything, so he just comes right down. So it's 7h plus 7. Okay, and now we have another problem here. Okay, we have negative 5y plus y minus 10y plus y. So now everything has a y. So it's all like terms. Okay, so I'm going to take each thing and the sign in front and combine them together. So I have I have negative 5 plus 1, that's negative 4, minus 10 is negative 14, plus 1 is negative 13. So it's negative 13y. Okay, notice I'm just dealing with coefficient out in front, not dealing with that variable at all. The next one says negative 10b plus negative 4b. That's pretty simple. That's going to be negative 14b. Okay, now I have a new problem. It's new style, so that's why I didn't write it on the board, because we already know how to do those. Okay, now I get a problem that says 2 times the quantity of 1 plus 7z. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to distribute that 2, like I would a stack of papers. I'm going to distribute everybody in the class, okay? So kind of view this as a stack of paper, and that's everybody in the class. So I have 2 times 1, that's 2 plus 2 times 7, that's 14, so it's 14z. So 2 plus 14z Alright, now I have problems a little different, so I'm going to go over this one as well. Okay, so we have 8m plus 2 times 3 plus m. So I'm going to do here's the first thing I need is to distribute that 2. So I'm going to distribute the 2 to everything inside the parentheses. So this guy has no nothing uh, going on, so it's just 8m. He comes down. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times m is 2m. But now I have to combine my like terms. Notice both these things have an m. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to combine them. So 8 plus 2 is 10, so I have 10m plus 6. Okay, one last one. And I'm going to let you guys do this on your own. Okay. This one says negative 6 plus 9 times negative 7 f plus 2. Oops, sorry, negative 2. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this 9 into everything here. Okay. He has nothing going on just yet, so I'm going to drop that negative 6. So 9 times negative 7 is negative 63f. 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. Okay, you could write that as minus 18 or plus negative 18. Now I have two things that are similar. These guys, notice they both don't have a variable on it. So if he comes straight down, that's negative 63f. Negative 6 plus negative 18 is negative 24. So I'm going to write that as negative 63f minus 24.